Hello, welcome back to the homestead. We're back up here this weekend. Today I gotta chop down a bunch of trees and move a bunch of wood and just do a lot with the chainsaw and kind of clearing things out, kind of to pick up all the things that have fallen down and and then getting other stuff ready. I gotta clear off the tree off my sawmill so hopefully I can put the legs on that today and then start getting that level because with all these trees that I'm chopping up, I'm gonna have a lot of lumber to, to make well, a lot of logs, I should say, to make lumber with. So, we're going to get sawing on that today. And uh, so hopefully you can come along and join us and, and see a little bit about what the homestead, homestead life is like. So, stick around. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Got a build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you will choose to stay through all the pain
So aside from chopping all those trees, I have to fix the mill so I can make the lumber with it. So I bought these extension legs for the mill so I can set it on there so it'll be about that much taller. Um, at least enough that these things will go down because right now they hit the base and so I can't really put them down. Last time I had to drill holes in the floor here so I could send them down through the plywood but I almost want it lifted a little bit higher too just so I can sweep the sawdust and stuff out from under it easier. We'll make it a little bit harder to load logs on but I'm not really worried about that because I do have my machine um, and I can also hook up a winch and pulley system and put some ramps in here if I have to if things get real bad but no so far should be okay so it's just a matter of attaching these legs so there's four five six seven eight of these legs which should go at all of the main support spots Yeah, so it should go on every one of these cross beams in here, just on the edges of them. Figure out exactly how those go on by looking at the instructions, which uh, got really wet, and so I'm kind of letting them dry out right now. But that should be a fun little project for me. So hopefully I get that done, I get this leveled, and we can get this sawmill up and running again. Hopefully this track isn't too tweaked from the snow and from the um, just getting bent because I can see how it's kind of bent on the edges here on the metal. I don't know exactly how I can fix that out. I may have to see if I can um, put a winch in between there and just kind of push it out back out again because it looked like it got banged to the side or something. Something not good happened to it. Anyway, that's my project. Let's get working on that. Oh, and I'll show y'all. I'll show y'all the wood I've been cutting so far. I got this huge pile down here. This is why I need to get this sawmill up and running because I got all these logs. They're just waiting, and I still got this big, massive log that I didn't get to cut last time because it's the one that bent my sawmill. So let's get busy.
Okay, I have all of the legs in. I thought they were gonna give me enough for, enough legs for the whole thing, plus the four foot extension I have on there. But apparently it's missing two of the legs down there. So I guess they only sent me 10, not 12, because I have six separate bunk spots. So maybe I'll just have to put a wood block underneath that side or something, because the weight of the machine right on the end or else I can move the ones from the end one step closer since it's pretty rare that I get weight all the way on the end but most likely I'll just leave them there get a block of wood put it under that side to level it out um, so it is nice to have this thing a little bit higher the way it is because as you can see my lodge stops here all the way to the bottom whereas before they were hitting the wood right there and I had to drill holes in there so that's a good thing uh, now we just have to level it all out that's probably going to be the hardest part so let's see what we can do with that Okay, so we've leveled it left to right. Now our biggest thing is we have to get it to be straight. And as you can see, in order to do that, I've just stuck a string line on there, which goes from there. And my beautiful assistant, Anna, down there is helping on the other end. And we can see from that string line where it's tied on that edge that we've got quite a bit of a gap right here and we can also tell that it's a little bit lower in this area because of that too because I've got about a finger gap on that one so I have to somehow wedge that over and I bolted both the corner ones down in there in so the edges the ends won't move but it's just a matter of getting this one to pull out At least hopefully that'll keep it a little bit, a little bit better. <coughs> nope. You have to stay there and look important. All right, so I'm just using these lag bolts to lag it into the ground.
they pull it tight. It does or you do? Pull this over and hold it and screw it down at the same time. Alright, okay, you can let go of that. Come over here. I don't know if you can hold this in this place. Can you hold it? I'm pulling it back this way towards me. I need it to stay right here where I've got it L2. Like. Or can you drill that piece in, that bolt in there? Saying. If you could pull this, and then back. that puts down. Back into that hole. Oh, hold on, I'll go grab the string light again. Because I don't know if it pop. 
up loose. Down the string, pull it tight again. That'll do. Nothing left over this now? Yep. Oh, great heavens, my finger hurts. Fair me, it's a
That is okay. Yeah, that's fine. It works Good enough. Real, but this is not right. All right. Well, straight now. Still got a little bit of a downhill slope, but that's okay. I don't mind when it helps pull it through the wall. But at least it's level this way and this way. I got to get used to sawing again because. My board came out kind of wavy. It doesn't look like it's the saw that's really bad because I'm not seeing lots of little striations in the wood. Yeah. But it's going up and down, which means that my tension's probably too loose on there. So I gotta check tension again, figure that out. I will have but it's good to finally be back on the sawmill again. I'm very happy with that. So, anyway. Now we can start cutting logs because I got a bunch of them. Yeah. Let me go show you what we're doing with the land. I kind of get ahead of myself sometimes. So I thought I'll just bring my uh, Mini X over there and kind of push out some of the brush a little bit and then I'll film it. But then I got going and then three hours later I cleared a whole bunch of the dirt and everything. So I'm going to go show you where the cabin's going to be, kind of what I'm doing, leveling it off and stuff like that. Um, and then we'll show you what else. I'm cleaning you up. Thanks, I needed it. Okay, you gonna show us what you're doing, Carrick? Yeah. Okay, what are we doing? All right, what are those orange flags? Uh, for the, for the cabin. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this cabin. flag right there. For that side over there. That is the south west corner of the cabin so you can see i kind of came in here started clearing out some of the trees and stuff the other corner down there the other flag i haven't taken out these pine trees because they're small enough that i think i can transplant them so what i'm going to do with those is come in and mini x them out and get the whole ball root and take them over and find some other place on the property that I can do it. So and then there's a couple of these trees, big trees that I was able to push over with the mini X because I was digging out over there and it rolled down the hill. So the other corner of the cabin is right over there at that orange flag. And then it goes up to there. I don't think you can see the orange flag up in that corner but it's right up through there and then goes across. So it's on quite a bit of a hill. So what I will end up doing, maybe you can see that, I started trenching it to kind of see what the rock level's like and everything in there. So this whole part right here, of course, needs to be dropped down probably 10 feet up at this point and so we'll drop all that down drag it all down so I still got to cut down a bunch of these big trees up through here uh, so we can do that yep and then just start dragging this dirt down filling up the level down there make it all nice and big and flat and level so we can get all the big machinery and stuff up here man there are so many mosquitoes up here now I just love mosquitoes not really because you so why we do this? Alright, so that's the plan. We'll go from there to there. Yep. Down to there. Over to there. Boy. Those mosquitoes are all over. So it should be like a 30 foot by 40 foot cabin. Nothing huge. Yep. About a thousand six hundred square feet with the loft and everything in it, but at least that's the main, so I get this footprint dug out, flattened, yep. leveled, then we can start doing the foundation, everything else. Might take a bit for that, just because I don't have the plans or anything else driven up yet. So I, I wanted to check to see what my soil level was like, and to just kind of clear and level this out. So 
we'll have that for the rest of the summer. I don't think, if I'm lucky, I might be able to get some cement stuff in later on in this fall, but it may just be we'll flatten it all out, level it up, and then dig trenches and pour footings and everything in later on. So anyway, that is it for today. Garrett? Yep. So yeah. thanks for stopping by and visiting us. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and got to see all the fun things we're doing. Remember that if you have any comments on anything, make sure you comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Are you just eating those mosquitoes? What are you doing? All right, so thanks again. See you later, my friends. Bye. Bye.